I know that most of you are interested in visual scripting since it's one of my most popular series in my channel so I wanted to share with you the latest news regarding the progress with visual scripting. If you remember in the last part we ended up having so many issues with the visual scripting system in Godot that we ended up changing all the code to regular GD script but we might go back to it in a future video. Some of you know there's a thing called Google Summer of Code which lets students from all over the world to work in specific projects and one of the students decided to work in improving the visual scripting system. Uh, this person is Swarnim Arun, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And he did a lot of improvements that I really love and I think it's taking the visual scripting to the next level. There's a lot of things of course that can be improved but I feel like it's getting very very nice. I will link in the description to the full article with all the things but the thing I feel I'm more excited about is that the visual script has been unified. What does this mean? Well if you remember in the current version of Godot if we create a visual script like we did like just visual script and we have this window here if I want to create a function I can press here on the plus and we have the function here but there are a couple of things that are kind of complicated like how can i set arguments for this function where is that set to you know sometimes you want to do a, a function in particular that does something and now let's say that this will i don't know print something let's say we've been working on this for a while we want to create another function that will give us this value and i have to create a new one and now suddenly i'm in a different window you see like this is one view so this is like the function 2 or 23 or whatever and then the other one so it, it got very complicated sometimes that you wanted you know just to do a simple thing and now in the new version which we have here as you can see the ui is much clearer we have the base type over here instead of there and we can create the functions from here and you can have different inputs, which are the arguments. You can name them, you can set the type of variable that they are. So the functionality is closer to what you can achieve with regular GD script. You can still create them from here if you would like to do so. And you have the same kind of properties like when you drag and drop and stuff like that. Another cool thing is that whenever I create a separate function, you can see both in the same screen. So you don't have to like keep swapping from one to the other and then you know you can share information between them because you know the notes that you have here you can share them all together and i think that's pretty cool uh, this is my favorite feature so far uh, i invite you to keep reading the rest of the article there's a lot of quality of life improvements there's a lot of nice animated images that you can see it's so much better so much better and i really really want to thank this user for all his work on it you can download a version of the visual scripting updates uh, if you go to the link in the description or if you go here in the article to the custom build so if you want to try it yourself you can do so and digging a little bit more about this user and also regarding one of the new additions which is that the proposals for features added to the engine are gonna be separate from the main repository and there's already here the repository that you can visit with all the proposals and there are some of them that are really cool already and I'm glad that they split this in a separate part but the one that I want to highlight here is that the same user that was working on the visual scripting also wants to make some improvements onto how they look and how much power you have with them and since this user was the one behind all the code in this massive update that Godot will receive, I feel like we might get some of this in sometime in the future. I will keep an eye open on it and I will keep posting updates regarding this in my channel because I know that many people is interested in visual scripting and I feel like there's not enough information regarding the development of this in YouTube. So I'm gonna leave it here for this uh, short update video. I really wanted to share this news with you. I encourage you to read all the links I left on the description. And yeah, we might have a new series coming up soon with the new visual scripting features. That's it for now and thank you for watching. I plan on doing more videos uh, regarding Godot news. I really want to highlight some of the amazing stuff that people are creating already. So I will try to organize a little bit better to 
set up a schedule and make these, these short videos with news. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments and as always I really want to thank my Patreons for making this possible and we have a tutorial coming up very soon. I'm finishing up a few things but should be up in a few days. Thanks again and bye!